This is Sax and you're watching Live at Tainted Blue. In today's episode, we're going to meet artist and producer Bibalakis. Bibalakis will be talking about his production workflow. Then Louis, our head engineer here at Tainted Blue, will help him come in and record some acoustic piano. We're recording uh, the piano parts of uh, a couple of tracks we've yeah. been working on. Then I'm going to bring that home and chop it up, arrange it, and I'm going to get a lot of uh, extra takes so when the song is going to be remixed, you know, people are going to have uh, enough content to play around with. I'm the keyboard player. That's me. He's a man that everybody always asks me, where the keys come from, you know? Hey. Usually the drums I use, uh, I program from samples, you know, from sample libraries and uh, just take loops and just, I, I never use like a loop straight as, as it is. I just listen to loops and, oh, I like this kick, I'm gonna take this kick, put it on the side. Oh, I like the hi-hat on this loop, you know, and take the hi-hat and then do that for all the percussive elements. And then I just layer them, you know, to get the right sound and sure. put some effect on it. Usually what I do, I just go through my item library, you know, listen to all my jazz stuff. I put uh, the tracks that I like on the side, I just, play with it, like filter, like do some new arrangements. I send it to Dave and then it comes to my place. He like tries to emulate it, you know, and um, so record it in MIDI at my place. Then when he leaves, I just rearrange some stuff. Then once we have like the um, structure of the song, we just rent a studio, you know, nice studio with a nice piano sound and we get the actual audio. Here, for example, like I'm just gonna take the produce session just when I'm home, I'm just gonna take the folder with the audio and just drag it in my Cubase session. One of the reasons that Bebe Lucky's chose Tainted Blue was because of the amazing live space. Not to mention this amazing, newly restored Steinway Baby Grand Piano. The track that Bebe Lucky's is recording is mostly comprised of electronic sounds. So to offset a little bit with that human feel, he's going to incorporate the live piano. We got uh, two 414s AKG set up here to get a nice stereo image, a nice left and right. We have uh, the Royer 122 right here, capturing the, uh, the sound holes of the piano, getting like nice wood. A uh, good like round sound to it. Now, this one I usually just use kind of to taste, just like not up all the way. What I was listening to before is kind of like more of a like a dancey kind of break break beat kind of stuff. This captures a nice bright sound. Anytime you can play on a nice piano with a nice bright sound, it'll help in terms of you know inspiring me to play something good, as opposed to a keyboard, which is a lot harder to draw inspiration from because it's not real. This is this is the real deal. So Dave, we're gonna do another take, but with the vocals in this time, okay? All right, sweet. As you can see by having the proper space and mic placement, Bibalakis was able to achieve that live piano sound he was looking for. Now that he's got the raw tracks, he's able to continue to work on his song. Follow Wing Sound on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with the latest episodes of our new series, Live Tainted Blue.